Uh, I just want to welcome you. Thank you for being uh, the most supportive and amazing fans in the world. Um, I just this entire process has been a lot of fun for me because I've been able to take my time with you guys and just see you memorize your names. Hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can test me out later. Um, uh, and honestly, just thank you personally for everything you've done uh, for me. And uh, so, if you have not been to the show yet, uh, the people that have, I think, are pretty happy and satisfied. So, we're giving you everything you want and more. Um, and uh, I'm sure you saw a little bit of what's been happening. Dead Seven's finally coming out April 1st. So, uh, it's pretty awesome. I can't believe it happened. <laughs> After three years of Skypes and all these things. So, um, just uh, give you a little. Um, uh, update what's happening. Um, I don't know if anybody's receiving the emails, but uh, we are trying to do a, a premiere. We are doing a premiere in Los Angeles on April 1st, so um, there might be some seats that are going to open up for that premiere. It's going to be really limited because it's going to be a lot of producers, actors, all these different people, press. It's going to be a red carpet thing. So um, well, you'll probably get a lot of information. Like some, maybe if you have any questions, you can go ahead and email Wonderful Union for it because we're trying to just organize all everything. Now, um, I'll go ahead and perform, we'll perform, you guys know Zoo? Yeah, you guys yeah. know Zoo? Now Zoo, <laughs> like this new band that I have, I mean honestly the best band I've ever had. I love my old bands, but these guys are fantastic. Seriously, Zoo, he's the one that helped me put the band together and what would you say you're like, what, the coordinator, what was the, the description? The musical director. director. <laughs> <laughs> the title is musical director. I'm the keep up with Nick's whim. Let's learn it. That's the truth. <coughs> so, um, cool. yeah, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and do the first song. You are my fire, the one desire. When I say that I want it that way But we are two worlds apart I can't reach to your heart When you say that I want it that way Tell me did was I um, had like these long army pants that I had and I just completely cut, cut, cut them <laughs> yeah. myself and then put them in the, the laundry or the, the washer and let them fray a little bit. Yeah. It was Give horrible. That, like, so look. cheap looking. <laughs> <laughs> these are a little higher up there. So um, do you guys have any questions for me like while we um, are here or anything you want to ask because I know that uh, Yeah, hi. My name is Emily. I'm from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. 
Um, I just had a question. You don't have to reveal it, mm -hmm. but I was just curious. You and Lauren have a baby name picked out, or a, a, like a list of names? <laughs> like when you see them, you're gonna pick, or well, is it like? Um, yeah. So we have a name. Okay. But I'm not giving it away. No, no, no. Um, yeah. Basically, because one reason I didn't think about it until someone told me recently because uh, Lauren was like you know can we just like keep it like private right now and I'm like that's fine and, and then she's like and then someone told me that they're like well when the baby's born sometimes you change your mind yeah and so um, I don't know I guess you kind of gotta let it happen uh, but for me I guess I can relate to that because my name was never supposed to be Nick <laughs> what was I supposed to be <laughs> carry on <laughs> supposed to be Chris. Oh. No. Well, I'm glad you're <laughs> now, I don't think people could ever see me as a Chris. No. So. And there's Chris Carter, the creator of X-Files, which yeah. I think is pretty rad. But, um, but there's yeah, no, I just, it's so strange. I don't know if you guys, if your parents or anybody ever told you that oh, maybe yeah. you were supposed mm. to be named something else. Yeah. <laughs> what were you, Nikki? I was huh? unexpected. I was a hidden twin. So. You were a hidden twin? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so uh, that's pretty interesting right there. Um, any other questions? Yeah. Do you have any other, like, movie stuff in the works? Or? Yeah, well, first of all, are you guys happy that I fulfilled my commitment? <laughs> are you happy that it, I, I, yeah. Damn, it was hard. <laughs> it was really hard. At the, at the same time as doing Dance with the Stars and we're like this tour, like trying to do, like, I'm, I'm making a movie is hell, okay? It is so hard. But there might be a little bit of that because I had never had done it before as well. I had two other, two other screenplays that I had written. Um, one was the Evil Blessings screenplay, which I put on the back burner uh, for Dead Seven. Um, and there was another one that I had written as well called Flesh and Blood. Weren't you supposed to be, a, this um, was a while ago, weren't you supposed to be a one with like a, like a beer, a horror movie with beer oh, in it? Oh, wow. Were you? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, there was a movie called The Brew. Yeah, I remember that. that was the only Which I, I, I remember. Was in it and you never in it. Yeah, and I they didn't do they it. Didn't did they didn't make it. No. Yeah, they didn't. Like, they never made it, and no. I was really disappointed in that because the guy that was supposed they a lot of times there's so many politics involved. Yeah. And, but uh, the what was his name? Um, God, he was the creator of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Toby Hooper. Toby Hooper. Yeah. Exactly. That's so, yeah. good. Appreciate that. I forget lyrics to it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's what they do. Like, you know, they're like, oh, he's tired of singing right now. Sing for him. <laughs> exactly what happened. Like, I don't know. Okay? Like, yeah, I'm carrying this whole show. I don't have four other guys to back me up right now. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. So, anyways, the brew was selling the backboard, and then they were trying to get Toby Hooper attached to it. And they so. I still remember you in the hollow. Yeah, the hollow was pretty much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is just different because I, I was able to create something yeah. that, that I would want to have. Do you wear that cowboy hat in real life? Because you kind of look badass. <laughs> <laughs> I really think I should. Huh? <laughs> Country album, next album. I don't know. <laughs> How's recording the new Backstreet album? It's been great. Uh, I, well, for me, I haven't been in the studio as much as I would like to be big because uh, I was doing Dance with the Stars, and so I had to go into the studio with them while I was doing it. And I just came in for like a couple hours and had to leave. So they, we have about six songs done. So I'm really looking forward to like June um, and July to finish the album. That's what we're doing right now. We're gonna finish the album. I'd have like a single maybe towards the end of the year. So, uh, but it's been great. It's been fun. The music is still really awesome, and it's just you know this whole creative creative process. So. Yeah, you have a tour to go to next year. What's that? You have a tour to go to next year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. My guitar is falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I need to do something with this thing. I'm gonna give it away at the end of the tour. Uh, all right. <laughs> So, uh, this actually isn't a question, but just thinking of Dancing with the Stars, and you said you were very self-conscious about your dancing. Yeah. 
And I just want to say, being a Factory Boys fan for about 20 years, that I never once got that opinion of you. You never. Be more strange. I mean, people say, well, he's got the other guys with him. I'm like, yeah, but usually when I'm watching them, I'm watching you. Yeah. <laughs> I will say this. Under some sort of structure, okay, I can probably function pretty well, <laughs> um, especially when it comes to choreography. Uh, and um, someone just choreographing it for me, so that's fine. If you give me something to do, I'll do it pretty good. But um, yeah, it's just uh, freestyle dancing, maybe not my, my forte. Um, but maybe people view me differently than I view myself, which is probably okay. <laughs> so, um, this right here is uh, <coughs> the new single. Ready? Uh, oh, wait, wait, let I see you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I do <Me> a lot. <laughs> uh, in the BSB documentary, you do the song In the Spotlight. Or, are you guys planning to finish that song and put it on the next album? It should be like a petition or something. <laughs> <laughs> there, I hear it all the time, which is a good thing. Um, you know, and I think uh, the thing about every single album in 
songs that we write and the, you know sort of there's always an evolutionary sort of process to it and and what's happened on this what's happening on this next process is that some of the people some of the guys in the group want to lean a little bit more to like an R&B type of vibe you know what I mean and which I think could probably be good sort of in, in mesh with us well because we're getting older, you know, so like a more of a sexy side kind of vibe. Now, I'm not saying that we couldn't do that song, but that song has a little bit more of an organic sort of, you know, it was done by that Martin Tereffi. It's incredible. Which, which, so, you know, if you guys really want it, you know, maybe like just <laughs> <laughs> revolt or something. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That's why I do those petitions. I've been instructed to ask, on the cruise, is the acoustic concert the only concert? And side note, please do a song from Unbreakable and this is it. <laughs> Again, like I say, if you guys really, really want something bad enough, you know, that's the problem of being in a group with five guys. There's so many opinions and there's a lot of fans as well who always want certain particular things. Which, like, the fans are always right, you know what I mean? Like, they're the way I look at it. So, so, um, but if you guys are passionate about something, you know, start a revolution. <laughs> <laughs> All five of my requests where you can let go. Yeah, it's probably going to be the only concert. A lot of people were really wanting an acoustic concert, so. Mm -hmm. I don't know, yep. maybe they just want to hear our voices, maybe they just want to, like, you broken down. I don't know. It's wrong. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is there anybody here? So this is for my seven-year-old who's a gamer. He wants to know in your video, 1999, what Sega game was the real system? I think it was Altered Beast. You meet Nicardo. You have to answer. I'm pretty sure it was Altered Beast. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I know in the show that you talk about there's some like truth behind some of your newer songs. So I was wondering if you can share um, maybe just a fun story behind one of your songs off the newer album, where it came Great to be. <laughs> uh, I'm going to bypass T1. <laughs> That's the one I want. Anyways, I mean, most of the songs that, that I've written on the records have something that, yeah. you know, is, that, uh, that I've taken from my life, and um, especially if I have my input on it in my, in my print. Um, I'm trying to think, like, obviously, uh, Waking naked California. with your head in a drum. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to think of the song, but you nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. Uh, that probably, uh, yeah, second wind really has a lot of me in it. Uh, okay. I, okay, one of the stories was I had these tattoos on my chest, okay, and they were okay. the, the dumbest thing I ever <laughs> Okay. Okay, and I swear to God, I don't know what was on the mind. And uh, so that was one of the stories of the song. Okay. And, um, yeah. Okay, so um, I was put to know if uh, you were to do a meet and greet with someone, who would you pick to do this kind of thing? Well, I mean, obviously it'd be sports people, but <laughs> <laughs> if I was to go musically uh, or something completely different, uh, you know, I want to meet. Uh, the guy's name, he does that, that show, um, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> that guy that's your more of a face person. <laughs> oh, huh? Oh, his name? Yeah, uh, I think Neil that's the, the host. Neil Tyson. Neil, 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 Neil Tyson. Oh. That's him. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember his name, thank God. <laughs> but, um, I just think he seems so <laughs> smart and like, I like to be. He's got a really good sense of humor. That's yeah. He's I actually like coming to Chicago soon. What's that? He's coming to Chicago at really? the Chicago Theater. Where Someone you are. tell him that I'm a huge fan. Bring to Because he can't yeah. remember his name and doesn't know how to find him. Because <laughs> <laughs> he can't remember his name and don't know how to find yeah, him. Yeah, no, I, mean, I watch his show and I'm like, I, you know, that's that's the problem with me. I recognize faces so easily and I'm like, I know you. Don't get offended. I don't know your name, but I know you. <laughs> so, all right, so this is... Uh, If 
find All the thoughts that cross my mind I seek to pick the bait to choose And I don't know which words to lose But I'm falling down so far I think I'll never see your light Bouncing off of me Shining down here from your eyes Help me Figure out the difference Between right and wrong And be strong Day and night where I belong Help me Make the right decisions Know which way to turn Lessons to learn And just my purpose is here It's like a guy with signals cross Messages I can't decode Never sleep, never wide awake You know, complete overload I got so much information here And nothing I can really grasp Oh, I should know the truth But I'm too afraid so I got to ask Help me figure out the difference Between right and wrong and being strong Day and night where I belong I got no oh, Help me Figure out the difference Between right and wrong Be strong Day and night where I feel Help me Make the right decisions Know which way to turn Less is to learn And just my purpose is And it all goes Oh, I gotta know So help me Thank you guys So uh, a couple more questions before I gotta take off Because we got VIP today I have a request I know you uh, know Spanish Or you're taking a lesson Can you say something? Do I say something in Spanish? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> mm. No, I like to say that I know a little bit of everything, maybe like you know, all these different languages. So, um, obviously, you know, te amo, um, gracias por todos, um, uh, tu eres muy bonita, <laughs> stuff like that. You know, like, you know, like, where's the agua? <laughs> <laughs> but I was in Mexico, hey, where's the agua? <laughs> Any other questions? It's kind of a stupid question, but do you recognize people off of Twitter? I actually do. Because I'm um, Steph Loves Chaos. <laughs> By the way. By the way. No, well, I mean, that's the thing that's cool about Twitter is it really has brought uh, us closer with our fans. And, mm -hmm. um, which is an opportunity to, to really see everybody and see how passionate they are, the things that they do, you know, the things they say, um, and, oh. and pay attention to it. Uh, <laughs> so it's it's cool. I, yeah. I love it, and I do recognize you. Awesome. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, sure. Um, of all of the songs you've ever written, Backstreet Boys or your own, what is your ultimate favorite song? <laughs> um, my ultimate favorite song. Still has to be on the last Backstreet Boy record. Um, oh my God, make believe. Yes. Yes. I, I just think because in a lot of ways it it just it, it says exactly what I feel um, on a regular basis. Uh, it's sort of what it represents because in a lot of ways, you know, that's my escape. You know, like I make believe. You know, find a way to if I play video games or if I'm doing something like. Uh, writing a song or just making a movie. I love to play. I love to pretend. I love, still love that stuff. I, obviously, I do it more in an adult fashion <laughs> than I 
yeah. used to do. So, are but. you um, are you guys gonna ever have like a full Christmas album? Because I well, know you've done like singles. Yeah, but. no, they there's so many things that you know we want to do. Um, one of the ideas on this last record, well, this new record that we're doing. Um, that I was mentioning that I think could be cool is uh, to do 24 tracks. So, I mean, so answer your question, getting there is the process, is the problem, you know what I mean? Having the time yeah. to do it. So, but if I was to focus on giving more material, uh, I think maybe do 12 original tracks um, and then do 12 uh, of our older tracks and re record them sort of maybe acoustically. So, you know, something like that. And then put make put like a big album out that do twenty four and then that would hopefully represent twenty four years together. Oh. Hopefully. We'll see. Yeah, I am the little brother, I don't know if they pay attention. Sir, last two questions because I gotta bounce. As you mentioned little brother, I've always wondered like being in the Backstreet Boys, you were the youngest, but with your family, you were the oldest. Like, what was that uh, like for you, those yeah. two extremes? Well, I mean, it, it was really, it, it's hard to com <coughs> com compare or to even just to 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 translate exactly how, how it felt because it, there were two completely ex separate extremes for me, you know, and one taught me something about the other. Um, and. I was really able to reflect in a lot of ways on the things that I had gone through and then also the things that I was going through at, at, you know, in the current time. And, and, um, and it, for me, it was able, I was able to really just to kind of compare the two things. And I've said that before too as well, but it, it's, it was a really strange dynamic that I fell into with my life. Um, and, but you know, blessed in a lot of ways because of that. Last question. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I'll, I'll ask you right after I go. Just a quick request. Because Backstreet Nick, we're both going to be mother in laws. My daughter's marrying her son. And mother, oh, nice. So, can we have a selfie with you? Yeah. Because I, all I could we do when you one? walked in the door was cuss because I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I didn't even know we didn't do one. That's fine. Last question. <laughs> Oh, I'm like. Okay. I know you're a huge Tampa Bay fan, obviously. Yes. Painful at times. Painful. Would you like to see him coming this next season? Well, I mean, you know, I, I could complain, but there's a lot of teams out there that haven't even. A tougher time. The Bears are one of them. Oh, hey. Hey. hey! It's true. Hey! <laughs> Coming from a Patriot fan. Patriot fan. <laughs> we just took a bunch of your players. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> we just lost our football team. I'm from St. Louis. We just lost our team. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's that. sucks. Yeah. Yeah. You could always be a Buckham. <laughs> um, by default. Uh, yeah, so, or the Browns, or. Like, you know, so I think where we're heading is amazing. I'm very excited about the the acquisitions that we're making. You know, the the, the people that we're picking up, the um, the coaching staff. Unfortunately, like we lost Levy Smith and that that whole debacle there. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm a huge Levy Smith fan, but I'm hoping that it turns out. Every all we can do is hope that what the systems are. You know making happen work, you know what I mean? Like, we're just fans, you know? So, like, that's all I can hope for is the best, you know? Mm -hmm. and, but I, it seems like it's going in the right direction, so. I'm happy Everybody during the season, you're on Twitter. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I really want to be known as, like, the, the number one Backstreet <laughs> <laughs> Like, you want to be known as the number one Backstreet <laughs> <laughs>